chapter 10, lesson 6, is about fractions and decimals. So here we're taking decimals and we're going to put it into fractions. So the best thing to do is read it and if it says, example, 2.5, that's the 0.5 is in the tenths place. So we read it as 2 and 5 tenths. So uh, depending on the number of place value, we will put it over either a 10, a 100, or a 1,000. Similarly, if it says to convert a, a fraction into decimal, the easiest thing to do is make the fraction so that they are either over 10, 100, or 1,000 so that it's easier to move the decimal. Okay, so no need to divide if we can make them over either a 10, 100, or 1,000. Okay, so our exercises comes from page, pages 83 and 85. So the first one says express each fraction as a decimal. Okay, so the first set of questions uh, come from page 83 and it says to write as decimal. So I said a while ago that if it's a fraction, ideally what we want to do is make this either over 10, over 100, or over 1,000. So clearly I can make 4 become 100 by multiplying it by 25. So this is technically if I multiply by 25, I need to multiply the top by 25 as well. So that means that's 25 over 100. Now, since it's over 100, that means we need to move the decimal place two places to the left, which means this must be 6.25. So using the same approach, since this is over 50, I know I can multiply that by 2, making it, 100 and I know I can I'd have to multiply the top by 2 as well so which means that will be 4 14 and then 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 so at this point we really need to start training our kids to be able to do simple multiplications with just one or two digits multiplied by a single digit okay so which means this right here since it's over a hundred then that means we need to move the decimal places two places to the left. So that's 5.54. Okay. And finally, on, on E, again, since that's over 25, I'd have to multiply by, oops, sorry, I'd have to multiply by 4 to make it 100, which means I'd have to multiply this by 4, making this 3. And this is now 100, and this is now 16. So which means, since that's over 100, move the decimal two places to the left, makes it 3.16. So again, parents, please don't be so hard on your kids because if adults make mistakes, it's okay for kids to make mistakes. Okay, so which means, moving on to page 85, where it says, Express each decimal as a fraction and write in simplest form. This we read as 4 tenth. So if it's 4 tenth, that would be 4 over 10. Which means since both of those are even, I know that I can simplify it by dividing both top and bottom by 2. Which means this must be 2 over 5. So if you want the symbols, that's what I would do. Okay, the next one we read as 3 and 75 hundredths. So that would be 3 and 75 over 100. Okay, so clearly here, if we look at 25 goes into both of those. So they can count 25, 50, 75. So that means this is 3 and 3 over 4. So I'll repeat that 25, 50, 75, 100. So those are the quarters. Okay. And finally, this is 6 and 72 hundredths. So 6 
and the 72 over 100. Now, since this is getting a bit harder, what we want to do is perhaps divide by 2 at a time so that it's lesser stress for the kids. So if I do this, this is 6, divide that by 2, that will be 36 over 50. So again, if they can't do it mentally, have them write it down. 72 divided by 2. Divide 3, 6, bring down, which means 36. Okay, dividing further, so this is divide by 2. Dividing further by 2, this will be, divide 50 by 2 is 25. That one's easy. So divide 36 by 2, that's 18. So again, if the kids can't do it, have them divide on the side. It's okay if they can't do the division, but they should be able to do the multiplication because the multiplication is a lot easier than the division. That concludes lesson 6 of chapter 10, which also concludes the chapter. See you in the next chapter.